Hello again! You know, today I decided that I was in a particularly good mood, so I just had to ruin it. That made me think, what's the best way to ruin one's mood? Well, easy. Let's talk about EA. The corporation best known as, in fact, the incarnation of the devil, at least in corporate America. It was voted the worst company in 2012. It recently fell away from its devious ways, only to, apparently, now try and reclaim this god-given title. Ha ha ha! Get it? Oh. How do they plan on doing that, eh? You might be wondering by this time, or maybe you know. Well, recently, a few days ago, Star Wars, more like EA and DICE, announced that they would be offering a $50, Euro or £40 DLC Season Pass. A DLC Season Pass that, for the record, we know nothing about. We know absolutely nothing about the content, content of Star Wars Battlefront's DLC. Not the first, not the second, not the third, not the fourth. I say fourth because they'll probably sell them $15 or Euro each. And if you buy the Season Pack, I suppose that you'll get a $10 or Euro discount. So far so good. Well, no, not really. Why? Because if you want to play the entire game, you're going to have to pay at least $110 or Euro. And if you want to buy the Season Pass at the beginning, you're going to have to do what exactly? That's right, pay it up front. Why? Why would you do that? I have no idea. Maybe you do. If you do, leave it in the comments. Now, other than the price, there is another issue I've got with selling DLC. And this is an old one, but still a golden one. It's difficult to forget about the price for a second, I know, but bear with me. You'll have, probably, two groups of people. The people who buy only the game and don't have enough disposable outcome, income, disposable income. Come on, dude, you study economics. So, you've got two groups. One, where the people don't have enough disposable income. The other one, where the people have enough disposable income to buy the DLC. So, you've got the people who will have access to different map packs, different map uh, game modes, as well as different, well, weapons. And when you've got a group with weapons different from the other groups, you might run the risk of having your game become fairly imbalanced. Because eventually some weapons will be probably objectively better than others. And it's very possible that some of these weapons will be in the DLC pack. You see the problem? Yeah, me too. No, oh, you're still here. Sorry. Issue number two with Star Wars Battlefront, more like controversy number two. There will be no VoIP, which stands for voiceover um, chat, practically. Dedicated service, blah blah blah. Why? No one knows. There won't be one on consoles. There will not be one on PC. So, if you want to play with strangers and communicate with them, tough luck. Now, I don't actually have that much of a problem with a lack of dedicated voice chat service. Why? Because in my own experience, every single game that has one has become victim of uh, voice chat harassment and or becoming an unwilling witness of how house drama, which is the things we live by. Four. Live four, right? Yeah. Definitely. Those mad English skills, bruh. This comes in a long list of 
controversy following last month's debate around the fact that Star Wars Battlefront will not be offering a dedicated server browser. Which, by the way guys, thanks very much, you suck for doing that, for not doing that. Why not? Yes, yes, they said that the matchmaking will be done by an automated service that matchmakes you according to your skill. But I don't like it. Not at all. And I didn't think it worked very well on the beta, but for my thoughts on the beta, click here or here or here on me, probably. Probably not. I don't like putting links on myself. Or maybe at the end of the video. Just wait at the end of the video. Or better yet, subscribe to my channel and like my videos and share them and help me rule the world. Wait. Mm. You want more? Right. Very well. Hmm. Ah oh, yes, there's a lovely Humble Bundle currently. It's the Humble Capcom Bundle. And it has DMC Devil May Cry for around 8.30. That's the bit above the average tier. It has a third tier which is above 10 euro. Nothing interesting in that one, at least from what I saw. But if you like Capcom's games, if you like Resident Evil, you might want to grab that particular bundle. Why? Because bundles are good and it goes for charity. And charity might make you not burn when going to church. I won't count on it though. Fine, I admit it. Burning and churches and church burning is a recurring theme in my life. Has been ever since the Inquisition. Sorry. Right then, one last piece of interesting trivia. Darkest Dungeon, the most charming game to come out of Early Access this year, by far in my honest and not at all humble opinion, is coming out of Early Access officially now on the 19th of January 2016. Originally it was supposed to come out this October to call release alongside the yearly event simply known as Halloween, yes, but unfortunately because of a tragedy striking one of the members of the team that works on it, it has been delayed. My best wishes are with him, of course, and I very much hope to see Darkest Dungeon fully embrace the promise that it has shown so far. It is a dark, grisly, gothy horror-esque game where death and disease rule over your party and your characters will most certainly die. The point of the game, of course, is to take over a haunted mansion that has been in your family for millennia or so, maybe just, maybe only decades. Maybe a few centuries, I don't quite remember, I haven't played it in a while, probably should go back and do this, so... At any rate, you've got to cleanse the manor of all manner of evil things that want to hurt you and make you scream like a tiny baby. And tiny babies scream quite a lot. Trust me, I know, I was one. But so were you. <laughs> if you want to buy it now and play it, you can go ahead and head on to Steam's Early Access and grab it for around 15, possibly 20 euro. Haven't checked. Look at this. Look at it. Yeah, that's how much you can buy Darkest Dungeon for. Bye, guys!
What? You want more? No! Go away! 